Okay, we need to talk about planner. My last video about planner was all about how there's a bunch of new good changes. They're finally fixing it. They're all coming. All the tools are coming together as one. And uh, they actually had an event last week that was all about meeting the makers and learning about what's coming up next. And you could ask Microsoft questions about the tool. I learned quite a bit enough that I wanted to sit down and give you an update and share some of my thoughts about how Microsoft is approaching the strategy of this tool. So buckle up because it's not great. I feel like I have to preface all of this with Microsoft is still good. The tools are still a huge asset to a lot of businesses but I want to be real and I want to not drink the Kool-Aid and give you the real take. So we came out with a video a while back about how Microsoft is fixing Planner and how they're bringing all of the tools that are kind of jumbled in Microsoft task management space and bringing them into one tool. All of that is still very true. Expect those tools to come together. It's going to kind of rock the boat on the team side of things first. They're going to be releasing the web version um, penciled in for late summer, early fall of 2024. What I hoped for in that process was a little bit of a reimagining of Planner, something where we can sort of wipe the slate clean and start fresh with this new, really good task management tool. Almost. There's, there's, there's very little of that happening where they're fixing the things that are wrong outside of bringing the tools together. What I came to understand, if, if you take nothing else away from this video, is you will love the new Planner if you already love Planner or you already love Project for the Web and you just wish that they were a little bit more together and there were less other tools and they were kind of just wrapped together. If you're hoping for much more than that, uh, you might be waiting a little bit. I don't know. There, there was very little to share about how quickly they're going to be releasing updates and things like that. Um, what brought this line of thinking up is I had a call with a, a lead last week and they asked me, hey, we moved to Planner about a year ago. We were using Asana and I know that new Planner is coming out. There's a bunch of stuff that I miss from Asana. Are those going to get fixed in new Planner? Because like I know this is a big, like they came out with a new logo, like this should be a big launch. Some of the things that, that they mentioned were things like, how do I give a status update to let's say uh, an executive or maybe a client. How do I take everything that I have on a, a planner board and deliver that to someone? Can I like PDF export that or can I create a little dashboard for them? No, you still can't. They said notifications are bad, which they are still gonna be bad. They are still leveraging Microsoft Groups for notifications. So if you don't like how there is a group email inbox for a planner board right now, keep not liking it because that's what's going to happen. Um, apparently they're looking into at notifying, commenting people in comments, but didn't have anything to share. Didn't was not like, yes, we're going to do it really quickly. It was a little bit lackluster workflows, guest sharing documents. How do you like, drag an image into a task and just drop it there. No, you still need to click attach, upload, enter a link. Like there are some core things like activity feed. There is no activity feed in Microsoft Planner. Here's everything that happened since you are away. Here's what the history of exactly what changed. Like there's like very little bits of that throughout. Far from an enterprise level project management app. Their plan for an activity feed is to use the Microsoft Teams activity feed for the for the activity that happens within Planner. That is not a proper project management tool 
and that is not a proper approach to a project management tool. A proper project management tool should fully encapsulate everything that I need to know about a project, its history, what's upcoming, so that I have a full picture. Here's my hot tech. Planner at its core is not being served well because it's bringing in more enterprise level project management tools in it in its current state. There are things in Planner that need to be fixed before they go and get more complex with things. But I can't help but feel like the way Microsoft is approaching this all of a sudden makes this a really wide product that at its core is still not fully baked. And licensing. I mentioned last time that the big hang up for me was that they still left uh, a money game in here where you, in order to get the, the premium features, you have to have a premium license. And so they referred to everything as planner premium and things like that. What I found out now is there is actually two levels of licensing, not just one. They are keeping project plan one and project plan three licenses. I don't know where two went, but they have those two licenses that you are still gonna need to decide for every one of your people if they need those licenses. It's friction. It's, it, it, it is absolutely friction. There is one other gotcha that I thought was really interesting. And that was about, they were pitching Copilot again, hardcore in these events that I went to, which is cool. Like I can't imagine the ability to just like type in a prompt and have it build out a plan for you. It's gonna be a, a, a huge game changer, at least for our people, but when they, sh they showed this, I'm gonna throw up a grid here of what features you get for what plans. You need to have a project plan three for Copilot integration. And so I asked the question in there, what if I have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license? Do I get it in Planner? The answer right now is, uh, right now you need a project plan three in our preview in Microsoft Teams. We don't have anything else to announce at the moment. It sounds like you need to pay even more for Copilot and Planner. <laughs> Get nickeled and dimed and it's it's getting tire, tiring. So I think I mentioned like they're even coming out with a new logo for it. Like yeah. that is the moment. A new logo is a moment to redefine the tool, not to just paint it with some lip. Like the designers did a great job on that logo. I'm, I'm it's all the logos within one logo. It's kind of cool, but uh, for that to be the highlight is a bummer. Again, if you take anything away from this video, it's if you love Planner, if you love Project for the Web, it's gonna be a lot better. They're gonna be bringing them together. Put a little damper on the hopes of this being an amazing, new, innovative, game-changing tool in the Microsoft space. I'm gonna get off my soapbox. Um, yeah, look out for more Planner videos in the future. But this is sort of a kind of an interim. Things are coming. It's launched in preview in Teams right now. They're starting to share a little bit more about the future of it. And this is my, my take on it at the moment. So uh, thanks for sticking with it and um, hoping things get better. There's so much more that <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. You know what the next video is gonna be? No, I wanna leave it a secret. My next video about Planner is gonna be secret, but it is gonna be shareable. Let's just say that. <laughs>